beautiful Rocky Mountains of Colorado, the site for this college football matchup. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Gathered in at the six. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Second and 13, ball on the 26. Taken down at the 26. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Tackle at the 41. Not much there on that opening drive. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. That makes it second and 10. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Handoff inside, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Nice run there. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. So at the end of one, still no score. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Nice run up the middle. They'll get a first down there on the play with a run from the tailback. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Defense stacked in tight here. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it dirty goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Let's go. Tackle at the one-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. A short yardage defense here. Let's go! Green 95! Green 95! 
There was some movement along the line. Let's get the call. Encroachment defense. defense. Still, Still fourth, fourth down. down. Touchdown Falcons. <laughs> and so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 61-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. Here they come. He gets sacked on the play. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Once and all, going deep. Nice catch on that one. And down he goes, around the 18-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Ole Miss will take their second time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. With a quick throw, Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And of course, the receiver has the speed in the, in the hands to make the play for the touchdown. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. On the hand, a big hit, and he'll lose yardage. We played a half. We're even at seven in this one. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Reese Davis and David Pollock here, completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football, play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. Excellent kick. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. About the 19 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 19. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. bring him down around the 20 yard line and that won't be enough for the first down great job here by the defense in shutting down the run that's a real boost for this team yard line. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. You got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And they make the stop at the 44. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. tailback on the screen knocked out of bounds at the 48 a couple of yards that time on the screen Air Force is going to take their first time out of the half and he can't hang on to the ball brought down at the 13 Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Hands it to the back. He's tackled around the 26 yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Right, right, right. 
Toronto at the end of three. We get a tie game at 7-7. But we're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Here we go! Bring the Tackle made around the 28-yard line. Throws it to the outside. Third and eight. Ball on the 28. Needed that play and he dropped it. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Well, I can say this much, Kirk. At least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team has been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard. And at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win? Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. He scrambled, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. He lets it go. Complete. He's got room to the 10. He's pushed out of bounds around the 9-yard line. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. First and goal as they look to take the lead. Just over a minute left. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. That brings him second and goal. Rebels taking their first time out of the half. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal for the one. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he stopped behind the line. The Rebels use their second time out. The kick is up. And they tack on three points. up to kick and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return he just drills this one and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback the Falcons were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimme well they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game let's see what they can do with this final drive they still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win things aren't tied but they might as well be it's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter Catches it, and he's punished. The Falcons are going to call their second timeout. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball in the 29. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That makes it third and 11. Old-time football today. Low-scoring defensive battle, and it's final. 10-7, Ole Miss. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.